Hey, Scorpio Riser, Jupiter has moved into our seventh house, 2023 May, in tropical Western astrology. It's going to be there for a year. Wow! Why is that awesome? Because Jupiter, the planet of blessings, the favor, it brings good things, joy, optimism, expansion. It's the best planet for just having good things happen to you. It's moving into what house? Our seventh house in whole house astrology. Taurus, seventh house is the house of marriage, your significant other, your closest relationship, your business, business partnerships. Man, if some of you have been having a rocky road in marriage, you can sigh relief. Jupiter's going to bring some blessings, favor, just some relief to many of you Scorpio Risers in your marriage. And that's exciting. For many women or even gay men that are single, Jupiter going into the seventh, Jupiter rules husband in the chart of a woman or a gay man. And he's coming. Jupiter's coming. I hope he's coming. He's coming in the seventh house of marriage. So many of you single Scorpio Risers can might really find that this is the time that you find your marriage partner. So there's a lot of great things going on with that there. Now, I just want to, and I'll probably be doing some more videos with this Jupiter going into the seventh house. You know, when you pay an astrologer, it's more than just knowing that Jupiter's in the seventh house for all of us Scorpio risers. But what planets do you got in the seventh? Because now Jupiter is activating all the planets you have in your seventh house. Bringing some optimism, some favor, some expansion, some joy, uh, faith. So it's uplifting the planets in the seventh house. Now, it's also aspecting everything else in your chart. So, you know, we know that the, the planets that are trying, three, seven, and 11, the planets you got three, seven, and 11, the relationship uh, houses are getting the benefit of Jupiter now. So Scorpio risers, there's just going to be a lot better relationships, right? Some of us have been in solitude for a while. Some of us haven't had the best luck in groups and networks or with our siblings or just the people in our life, right? Well, now we're going to see some of these relationships become much more uplifting, inspiring, and we get to see why relationships are a blessing, why they make life good instead of hard and difficult. Now, what I'm saying to all you Scorpio Risers out there, that aren't really worried about marriage. Let's talk about money. Let's talk about seventh house, baby. Seventh house is business. If you are a business person, if you're a life coach, uh, anybody that's in any type of business, Jupiter, the planet of expansion in the house of business, says this is the year to expand your business. This is the time to start really offering more products, more services. Now, one of the things that I have on my website, thebirthdaycoach.com, uh, is, you know, I do coaching. I do astrology coaching based off of your natal chart. I do marriage counseling, career counseling, health, you name it. That astrology chart shows everything. You can get an hour reading, half an hour reading. But one of the things, Scorpio Riser, that I have on there that's completely free is what's called the Astrology Mentorship Program as far as a free call to learn about how to become a professional astrologer. Now, what I want you to do is if you're interested in starting any business that has to do with coaching, whether it's like a hypnosis, Reiki, Reiki any kind of coaching business, if you've been thinking about doing any kind of readings or any of that, you can go to that website, The Birthday Coach, and you can schedule a free call. Now, it's gonna, I, right now, it's just called the Astrology Mentorship Program to learn about it. But if you want just to talk to me for a few minutes, maybe even longer, depending on what I have available, on your business, expanding your business, if you're thinking about getting into any type of business, then I can probably give you a few ideas. I can listen to you. I can give you some pointers uh, on whether, you know, w should you do it or not? And what is going into your idea? I'm offering that to Scorpio Risers uh, because I've been telling many of you that we need more healers on the planet, more revealers of light, of, you know, all these things that you know, being a Scorpio Riser, you're a transformer, you're a healer, you're a revela revelation revealer, meaning you reveal people these great insights of our psychology, our soul, our spirit. 
And so I want to help you. So if you're interested in that, go to thebirthdaycoach.com. You can schedule that, just a mentorship call with me. And we can take a look at maybe uh, your coaching business for a few minutes. And uh, even if you don't have a business, if you're just curious about getting started, I wouldn't mind helping some of you. I plan on doing some webinars with that, helping people in their business when it comes to expanding it and making it prosperous. All right, everyone, Jupiter, the planet of blessings, move into the seventh in tropical, in tropical. And so with that being said, what planets do you got in the seventh house? What are we going to see? Uh, how? What faith, faith, higher power, how is it going to be playing into your marriage, into your significant relationships? How is that faith in your own calling to expand your business going to play out?